Hey guys, in today's tutorial, you're gonna learn how to do a Tuzani around the world. And this is what it looks like. The Tuzani around the world is a great skill made up of two more simple skills. Uh, those are an around the world and a crossover. So if you can't do any of those, then click on the links now, check out those videos, and then revisit this one after. Otherwise, it might be too much. But if you can do an around the world and a crossover, then this is the place to be. So the first thing you want to do with the Tuzani is to really work on your around the world, okay? You're going to be performing an outside around the world with your strong foot. That's my right foot, so I'll demonstrate it now. Juggling the ball and then an outside around the world with my strong foot. So once you've got your outside around the world, you're then going to perform a crossover, which looks like this. Okay, so you're chucking the ball up and then forming a crossover with your strong foot. So your weak foot comes over the top of the ball and then your right foot, which is my strong foot, kicks the ball. So the next thing you're going to do is perform your outside around the world, take a touch and then perform your crossover. Okay, and it looks like this. So you're juggling the ball, you do an outside around the world, take a touch and then perform a crossover. The next part of it is to try and do the Tuzani around the world and it's putting those two things together, the around the world and the crossover, but without that touch in the middle. So you're going to kick the ball up, you're going to kick, you're going to go around and as you go around, you're then going to jump over your crossover. Okay, it is quite difficult to get the timing right, so really put time into doing this. Watch me do it a couple of times in slow motion and this should help you out. I am waiting till the last minute, light up, don't give me. When I was learning this skill, what I found really helpful was letting the ball bounce and then performing the trick. Okay, so you let the ball bounce and then you do your kick, kick, okay, and catch it again. Okay, so it is very different to doing one trick than the other. It is really combining those two together, okay, with a kick, kick. The reason I've put those slow motion clips in is because this one is a bit of a mind boggle, okay? So if you haven't done this kind of trick before linking two other skills together, uh, it's difficult to get your head around it, but the slow-mo clips are there to help you, okay? So just watch them over and over again and really visualize the movement and you will get it. Okay, if you need some extra help, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you, give you any extra tips that I can, okay? You can also reach out to me um, on Instagram or Twitter uh, and I'll do my best to get back to you on there, okay? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, keep practicing. You will get it. Please subscribe to be the first to see new videos and I'll see you soon.